Hi everyone and happy Tuesday. Thank you so much for stopping in today. We decided to have a show and tell Tuesday uh, just as a little way to connect with you all before our live show tomorrow. So if you've just stumbled across this feed, I'm Marie with Living Felt. We are Living Felt Felting Supplies and FeltingTutorials.com. Oh, and my phone turned so on. <laughs> Thank you guys for stopping in. We've had a few technical challenges the last I like a month and a half. It's been kind of spotty off and on and our internet connection has gotten interrupted during our live show. Therefore, we have been making some internal changes, running tons and tons of tests uh, towards this goal and uh, even staging a plan B. So today we thought we would do a live test with you all and have a show and tell Tuesday. So thank you all for stopping in and I am honestly just delighted uh, to have you all here um, and to be sharing some amazing creations made by our BFFs. So I'm gonna be sharing some really sweet creations made by our friends and uh, let you know just in advance, if you come back tomorrow at two o'clock, we're going to be carding fibers. We're gonna use the drum carter, we're gonna use the hand cards, and we're gonna use the blending board leading up to a wet felting tutorial, nano felting, wet felting slash nano felting tutorial um, in two weeks on the live show. So this is an extra day in the week just to hang out with you all. And I wanna say hi to some folks. My live chat has disappeared over here and I saw you a minute ago, so let me say hi to some people uh, who are here. Thank you all for chiming in. So here's Lori Girl in East Tennessee. There's Dory Thorpe. Uh, here is Linda. She says she can't wait to see everyone's projects. Audrey Farthing, all the way in the UK. Um, Peg Elliott coming back. Laura McNelly, hi. Hi Jude in France. Um, Joan says she's here. Ava in Norway, always chiming in. Thank you so much for being here, friends. Um, Christina Peruk, um, and I saw Anne Franklin too, who's one of the artists we're gonna be sharing today. Um, so thank you all so much for chiming in. All right, so today, uh, just a quick, short visit. I wanna share with you some of the treasures that we've received over recent weeks. And I wanna tell you, first of all, that I feel incredibly blessed to receive artwork from these people, from anyone. The gifts that are sent to us are just amazing. So the first two things I'm gonna share with you are little memorials of um, our late mascot, Speedy. Speedy was mine and my husband's dog and with us for 18 years and uh, such a, just a precious little beast. And he came with me, he was in this studio when I was live almost every week. I would teach workshops and he would literally sleep under the table and just sleep for hours while we felted in groups. And, um, and these are little renditions of him. So let me switch here. I want to be able to show you nice up and close and personal. And why don't we start with this one by Anne Franklin in North Carolina. She's on right now, I know she, uh, um, on the show here and I'm going to switch so you can see this sweet Anne makes the most precious ornaments um, and she makes all kinds of ornaments holiday themed ornaments and pet memorial ornaments this looks so much like Speedy it's just uncanny right down to his little lips and his cataract <laughs> eyes what a great job she did with these little bubble letters here and his big ears he's a rat terrier um, and then she has a precious ribbon attached and um, a felt felt on the back. And for this, she has used our MC1 batting and I imagine our uh, core wool inside there. But man, that looks so much like my dog. <laughs> I can't even tell you, it's, it's remarkable. And um, so it's Anne Lily Franklin and, and Felted Creations by Anne. We have included a link to all of these artists in our description. Uh, in our description today, you can get a link to their website. So Anne, I believe, is just on Facebook. I looked for her Instagram uh, to see if she's there, uh, and I couldn't find it. But I know that I have purchased uh, Christmas ornaments from Anne as well and gifted them to people. Such lovely, lovely quality. So I hope that you will follow her. And Anne, thank you so much. I, my husband was so moved, and I was so moved by this precious, precious little ornament. So y'all show some love and make sure that you um, follow Anne. And let me show you this 3D sculpture of Speedy here by Irene Clark, a felt accompli. Now, 
interesting thing about Irene, uh, first of all, this is her second sculpture of Speedy that she's gifted me over the years. What's different about this one and the last one is this one doesn't have any armature. And these are just surprises, y'all. Like these things just show up in the mail. And I, I don't even know what to do about it sometimes. It's just so incredible that someone would take the time and gift us such a sweet, sweet piece. So let me show you this guy up close and personal also. Um, and you can see how sweet he is. Like look at this body. This is the exact pose almost, if I, if I cross the pause, um, that I first saw Speedy. Speedy was my internet baby and I got him on Easter just four months after he was born. And she did such a great job getting all of his little spots. He's needle felted out of Corydale and she says that um, she's basically been learning uh, from looking at the way clay is sculpted and then bringing that to her fiber sculptures and that she starts with the face and then just keeps building the sculpture all the way back. And I want you to know this thing is rock solid. Coriadale can be very coarse, like around a 30, 27 to 32, 33 micron. And he, it will allow you to get something really coarse. It's a longer fiber, not everyone loves working with it, but she has done such an amazing job and sculpted this little baby. That is my little buddy Speedy, like all the way. And he came to work with me every day <laughs> for years and years and years. He was always with me and went to the grocery store with me. So thank you so much, Irene, for that. Um, so Irene donates all of the proceeds from her felt works to charity. And I don't know if they're animal charities. I, I can't remember. I know I read that. But she dot donates all of the money to charity and has just been loving learning. And she's a very gifted lady. I mean, she, her talents are very broad and to accentuate that, I want to show you another piece that she gifted with me for me. Again, a surprise. We had done a call and a meeting and some of you know, we've invited um, Irene here to teach. She does incredible uh, table runners and shawls um, at, out of Nenofelt and hand paints the most glorious flowers. And she asked me, what was my favorite flower and I said the sunflower and here is this piece she made me now I'm going to pull it down so you can see it I've not I've left it up so that I don't mess up how beautifully it's styled but I want you to see it up and close and personal so let me bring it to you and I'll never get it back Here we go. First of all, it's enormous. So let me show you how beautiful this piece is. Variegation in the blues and the sky, absolutely gorgeous. It's so huge. It's meant to be worn as a shawl. And Irene said, you know, she wants me to wear it. Um, I don't know if she's ever been to Texas. <laughs> This is gorgeous, right? So there's only a few months out of the year that we can wear something this fabulous. And I told her I want to hang it on the wall because it's magnificent. I would even love a slice of it uh, for a picture hanging on the wall. This to me just feels like fresh sky. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. So let me bring it up to you a little bit closer. So I know, I know you guys are just gushing right now over this piece. And here's another view. Look how beautifully these sunflowers are painted. And then she's given us this little weave uh, along the end, like a little, sort of like a little basket weave along the bottom. And this is nano felt, so that means it's felted onto a fabric. And in this case, she used uh, Margolon silk, which of course we carry in the shop. I think she gets most of our fibers from us. Uh, I'm not really sure, but not that it matters. Absolutely gorgeous. And in this piece, also um, is our birds. So let me show these to you right here. Get them up and close. Look how sweet, how sweet is that? Absolutely a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. And I'll pause here for a second to see um, what y'all are saying. And I'm sorry, I've now I've lost it off of my <laughs> little styling piece. But this is this is incredible. And this takes a lot of time to lay out. So Irene will lay these out in her studio. She has to lay them out 
probably across multiple days and then come back and wet felt it. I remember one piece uh, she was working on and she said it was like a five day process. So um, love to hear your all feedback for her and be sure to check out the link, follow her and check out her website as well. Let me see how we're doing. I'm gonna see if I can see you all over here for some reason. Our live chat disappeared, so I can't see what you all are saying, um, but I want to catch up. Maybe if I if I post, I'll post a hi, and then let's see if I can catch up and see you all. I will hang that now. Okay. Now, the last piece that I wanna share with you, and by the way, so far I'm happy that our, our feed is doing good, but I'm not able to see what you all are saying, so I'm gonna go out and come back. Um, oh, yes, okay. So Devin says, if she ever teaches a class, I'm totally taking that, you and me both, girl. I told her I like it could just be a sunflower picture for the wall. We don't need to do something big, just, just teach us how to paint. Um, Christina says beautiful works. Doree says love the birds amongst the flowers and the woven edge is a wonderful touch. I agree. It really, really captures the piece. Um, Linda says her goal is to be able to nano felt like that. What a compliment. Uh, Kathy says absolutely beautiful pieces. I know you all are all so in love with them. And uh, let me go back. My, ch my uh, chat had stopped. Oh, yes, you love the pieces by Anne, uh, the piece by Anne and the, the dog, too. I know, just incredible. So we're blessed to have this artwork here around us. If you ever come to the shop, we have so many pieces made by our friends, made by the teachers in our school, uh, which is feltingtutorials.com. So you can check that out. We have some free classes there as well as uh, paid classes. But let me show you Oprah. This thing is just amazing. So... I want to bring her on over and see. Let's see if I can just get her right up in here. Okay, so Oprah is felted for us by Catherine McClelland. And she accepted a challenge from me. So Catherine McClelland, she does buy most of her fibers from us. This background is our PFM pre-felt. And she... I saw her doing some amazing portraits of people and of women, and I asked would she accept a challenge, and she's on TikTok. So we've linked to her in the descriptions, and she documented the making of this portrait of Oprah on across multiple videos on her TikTok channel. She made it in about a week, just incredible, and I want you to know she really, really worked hard on this piece. Um, so we agreed on a, a picture. I think she took, she, she selected the picture. And what I find really incredible is these skin tones and these colors are made with merino top, which many of you know, uh, I would usually use like for needle felting. This is a wet felted background. She wet felted the pre-felt, so to give it a little more stability. Then she blended merino tops to create all of the tones and shades that you see here needle felted them into place and then wet felted it and this is a multi-step process going back and forth and back and forth adding detail wet felting more adding detail and she came up with this really cool um thematic backdrop of the o for oprah and she uh, shows the on her channel she shows the blending of the fibers now TikTok, you know you have very short videos like a minute but she shows the blending of the fibers, the needle felting, and the wet felting, and shares a little bit about it. Just absolutely incredible. And um, she is also on our guest list for the school, uh, doing something a little less complicated. I'm going to ask some of your questions. A little less complicated than a realistic portrait to kind of teach us how she does some of her blending and shading and some of her process. So. Uh, wow, this is just incredible. So we're looking for a very special place to hang this in the shop, but I, I'm, I'm really tempted to put it behind glass because I really want to preserve it. And I want you to know it is felted to perfection. Absolutely. You know, I'm not going to mess it up by rubbing my hands across it. So incredible job. Catherine McClelan, she's on Instagram. She's on TikTok. Look her up. Follow the Instagram link we've included below. 
and I saw someone asked, what was Irene's last name? It is Clark, Irene Clark, and we've linked to her in the description as well. So aren't these things incredible? I know. Uh, Elizabeth Lore says, I wish Oprah could see it. And Betsy Sassnett says, it does look like a photo. I agree. She did an amazing <laughs> job. And Lisa Johnson says she's hoping to visit soon. She's visiting her son in Amarillo. Uh, and Annie J says, hopefully if I practice enough, I'll be able to create something comparable to these works of art. And you know what, Annie, that's the whole point is we really want to inspire and encourage everyone to find their own voice. Uh, handmade felt is an absolutely incredible medium. It's amazing what you can do with it. And it's amazing the different expressions we all can create with it. So uh, I do hope you'll play and experiment. I hope that you'll follow these gals uh, who've been so kind to gift their works to us um, and share their pieces with us. I'll just hold him up and speed these down there too. <laughs> and the sunflowers behind me, don't forget. So please show these gals some love by following them. Uh, most of them are in our Facebook group as well. So if you're looking for a place to hang out with some friends, um, oh, that looks a little low. I don't know why. Let me see if I can fix that. Um, uh, our, our Facebook group is just uh, Facebook dot com slash groups slash living felt friends so just go search living felt friends felting tutorials dot com is our school that link is right there living felt felting supplies you can shop with us right there or just go check out our page we have free pdfs you can download we have free lessons and we have lots more stuff on our youtube channel so tell you what tomorrow we're going to be back uh, for our Wooly Wednesday, which is a live at two o'clock central time. We're going to be carding and blending fibers and we're grateful that the feed has been really strong today. Our plan B is if our feed goes down like it has been, we'll just, uh, if we have buffering issues, we'll close the show and we'll jump right over to our Facebook page, which is just facebook.com slash living felt and we'll just fire up the broadcast right there so y'all know that's a plan b so before you go uh please consider giving these gals a thumbs up on the video and then go and follow them for today and we look forward to hanging out with you again tomorrow i hope you have a really really great day be kind to yourselves whatever you do and make something fun you guys have a great day thanks for stopping by bye